Hi, you guys. Hello, everyone. This is Norris Tony coming back to all of you with another video. I just want to talk a little bit about Marriage Boot Camp Hip Hop Edition. Like over a month ago, I had did a video about this show, about this past season. And I didn't know at the time what season it was, but it's season 19. And I gave my opinion about the four couples, the new couples that was on the show. I will admit I was a little harsh, maybe on one of the people, and that was Emmett, you know, who was who's with Gangster Boo. You know, I was hired on him, and, you know, I probably shouldn't have been as hired on him. So my bad, Emmett, you know, I'm sorry for being harsh on you, <laughs> you know. But, um, yeah, I judged him a little hot, too hard. And it might have been an, a, a few other people who I was real hired on in that video. But, yeah, it's a 22-minute video, and I just gave my opinion on what I thought about the couples. And that was, like I said, that video was over a month ago. It's a 22-minute video. You all can go over there and check that video out and tell me what you think about it. But what I'm doing now is I'm going to come to y'all and tell y'all a few highlights of the season, things that I thought about the season. And I'm going to mainly talk about at about who's still together and who, you know, based on the decision, because it was a decision day. So based on who together and the updates that they gave us at the end of the episode, which is season 10. So this season had 10 episodes. So season 10 was this past Thursday, you know, the season finale on the second. So you guys can then watch this show. Now that the season is over, y'all can binge watch it and catch up on the season. Because like I said, it was 10 episodes, season 19 of Marriage Boot Camp Hip Hop Edition. So I'm going to start talking about it now. A few things that stood out to me this season was Lyrica and K. Michelle, you know, trying to fight each other, you know, in the kitchen. And then by the stairs, when they go up to go upstairs to their room, to their rooms, they was trying to fight you know, on the stairway too. So it was midway through the season, you know, they was trying to fight. And I'm thinking these two ladies, when they was on Love and Hip Hop, they they weren't known for fighting. They, they're not fighters. You know, especially K. Michelle, when she was on um, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, you know, she, she threw a candle at Rashida, you know, and then she threw... She threw flowers and hit Mimi in the face with flowers. Then she threw a drink more than once on Carly Red. So I'm just thinking, K. Michelle, you're not a fighter. I don't know why you told Lyrica that you was going to beat her A, but obviously you didn't do that. I just think when people throw things at other people, especially if it's a one on, if you want to fight somebody, really want to fight somebody one on one, and you throwing objects at them. I'm sorry, but you, you're not a good fighter. To me, you're not really a fighter at all. You don't. Uh, you might not know how to fight, but you're just not a fighter. So, K. Michelle, you know, really stop getting on TV trying to fight people because that's not a good look for you. And Lyrica, when her and K. Michelle was on Love and Hip Hop Hollywood, you know, when K. Michelle, you know, had that um had that IV going around in places with that IV to try to get the, um, or get basically the butt shots, the butt shots taken out of her behind. You know, when she had all that behind back there, she was trying to, you know, get a reduction. So she had to um, carry an IV with her all season. Hold on, you guys. I'm on the computer right now. I'm busy. No, I'm on the computer. I'll talk to you when I'm done. But um, anyway, sorry, you guys. Um, I was saying that, you know, when her and Lyrica was on Love and Hip Hop Hollywood, they was trying to fight each other, but never did. And Lyrica, you know, when she was on Love and Hip Hop Hollywood, she had several chances to fight the women, you know, that was coming after her and disrespecting her on that show. And, they, and she never fought any of them. So it's like, she also not a fighter. So I don't know why she called herself trying to fight K. Michelle. It's like, y'all, that was a waste of time, a waste of filming. And, you know, 
just the way that y'all it made yourselves look dumb in the process because you didn't do nothing but argue and made threats at each other, basically. But on um, the next day, after they tried to fight, they had a conversation and basically they made up. So they was they was cool after that. So they didn't try to fight each other no more, which is a good thing. So they got along, I think, basically the rest of the season. But so that's one thing that stood out to me on this season of Marriage Boot Camp. And then episode nine, you know, last Thursday before this season finale, you had Gangster Boo and um, Emmett. You know, she, you know, got they was taking a lot, getting ready to take the lie detector test for the couples. And then the producers go up in Gangster Boo and Emmett's room and behind the lamp or something like that on the table. They found a white, a bag of white substance, basically drugs. We don't know what kind of drugs it was or drug it was, but it was drugs. And, you know, Dr. Um, Ish, you know, sat down with her and Emmett and he questioned her about it. Like, what is this substance? Why is it, was it in your room? You know, and basically in Gangster Boo just freaked out. She went off. She thought that he was basically accusing her of doing drugs, basically, and that was her drugs. And he wasn't. He was. He wasn't attacking. Doctor Ish wasn't judging her. He was just trying to, you know, get some understanding and some clarity of why this white bag of substance was found in your room. And so, Gangster Boo, I guess she storms out the room and then goes outside or whatever. And then I guess Doctor Ish or the producers called the band. But I will explain that band in a minute because we waiting for her and Emmett outside. But um, Emmett stayed upstairs with Dr. Um, Ish. And he was talking to him about Gangster Boo's behavior, basically that substance that was in the bag. And I think he basically confirmed, I believe, that it was hers. And she just kept downstairs, just kept freaking out. I need to get upstairs. I need to get to my room and get my things. You know, she she was panicking. You know, because she was scared, you know, that she would be embarrassed. And so she basically embarrassed herself on TV. In my opinion, she exposed herself based off her reaction and her behavior. So overall, you know, based off the, the bag of substance, the little white bag of substance that was found in a room, her and Emmett was asked to leave the show. They had to leave the house because that's against the rules. You cannot have drugs or any type of substance in marriage boot camp. You can't have that, especially if you're there to try to work on your relationship and get get therapy and help with your issues and, well, with your personal and your relationship issues. You're not supposed to be bringing any type of substances in the house. You're not supposed to do that. So basically they got kicked out the house. So we're left with three couples. And now I'm going to get to episode 10. This, I ain't going to recap everything. I'm just going to talk about the decision day. So you had um, K. Michelle and Casting. Because I was getting his name wrong in that last video. I, I called him Casting. But his name is Casting. Oh, and by the way, in episode 9, he celebrated his birthday. So, But when it was while they was filming the show, they just showed it in episode 9. But, um, yeah, her, when it comes to Decision Day, Caskin and K. Michelle go up. And basically, they both choose each other. You know, so the ring was in, both, was in both boxes. So they chose to stay together, basically be together. And then next, we have Lyrica and A1. And Lyrica, uh, A1 has his ring, I think, in a box. And Lyrica did not have a ring in a box. And nor was she wearing a ring on her finger either. Her wedding ring, her wedding ring on her finger either. So basically, they break up. You know, she doesn't choose a one, but a one chose her. He can, he put his ring in the box. Then the last couple out of the three, we get to Mariah Lynn and Rich. No dollars. You know, he calls himself dollars, but I call him no dollars. <laughs> if you you know, so Mariah Lynn and Rich basically stayed, say that they're going to stay together. So Rich had a ring. And I think Mariah Lynn 
she didn't have her ring in the box, but she had the ring, I guess that promise ring or whatever ring it is on her finger. So they chose to stay together. So that that's that on a decision on a um decision day. So now, real quick, I'm gonna talk about the recap or the update. You know, after like at the end of the episode, they show everybody toasting to the season. You know, with champagne glasses and all that, with Dr. Ish and Dr. Lynn Toller in the um, living room. They was toasting to those who stayed together and then Lyrica by herself and A1, they broke up, but they still toast with the other two couples, you know, toasting to stand together and having a uh, finishing the process, basically. But um, after that, they show updates on the couples. Gangster Boo and Emmett, they're still together. She said that they're happier than ever, but they're not engaged. You know, but um, she goes online, went online and said that she doesn't use drugs and, you know, she doesn't have a drug issue or issue with drugs. So, you know, that white bag was basically, I believe, and everybody else believed that was her drugs and not Emmett's. But um, I think that they should have broke up because on the show during the season, it was like she mistreated him, like talked to him like a dog. You know, him and her did have their arguments. She treated him worse. Than he did her on the show. So I thought that they would break up, but they didn't. And they're still together. Then we get to uh who else? Caskin and K Michelle. They're still together. And they're not engaged. So she's giving him, I think, a time frame of when to propose to her. You know, I think six months they said in the update that she that she's giving him six months to propose. I'm not sure, but I know that they're still together and they're not engaged. Then we get to Lyrica and A1. Lyrica filed for divorce after the show. So A1 didn't give an update, but basically they're not together. Because <laughs> Lyrica filed for divorce. So basically, and I'm thinking about time, girl. Because your relationship with A1 has since Love and Hip Hop Hollywood and even on the Love and Hip Hop and Holly Love and Hip Hop Hollywood was not good. It was toxic from the get go. Y'all shouldn't have never really been together, but I hope that y'all can co parent and y'all can, you know, be the best parents that y'all can be to y'all son. I believe they son or daughter, but basically your child. So they're not together. Lyrica filed for divorce. And then Mariah Lynn and Rich, no dollars. <laughs> she said that they're not together. You know, they chose each other during the ring ceremony. They chose to be together on the show during decision day. But in the update, they say she said that they're definitely not together and that I guess she's done for, with him for good. But you never know what's going to happen. So they're broken up now based on update. So that's all basically that I wanted to tell you all. I'm not going to make this video as long as that first one was. But if y'all want to check out that first video, Marriage Boot Camp Hip Hop Edition, that I did over a month ago, y'all can. You know, y'all can go back and look. I forgot what I was wearing in that, in that what shirt I had on in that video. It might have been this shirt with a hat on, but with my black hat, Nike hat, but I'm not sure. Y'all can go back and look. It's not that far. And um, anyway, I hope that you all like this video. I hope that you all like, comment, subscribe, and share the video if you want. And I'm going to do a separate video because I have over 500 subscribers, which I'm happy about. So I'm going to do a video on that, you know, soon celebrating another milestone i'm gonna do that soon but until so look up be on the lookout for that video but until then i wanted to talk about marriage or right, marriage boot camp hip-hop hip-hop edition season 19. so anyway like like i said like please like comment subscribe share the video if you want and you all have a good night or good morning should i say it peace